Hey everybody and welcome to Lex's World. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace a broken rocker switch on a Storrs and Bickle Volcano Vaporizer. This is my old rocker switch and it broke. Uh, kind of collapsed in on itself after about nine years of use, something like that. Uh, it's got numbers written on it, the numbers 1, 2, and 3. When you place it into your volcano, you got to make sure that the number 1 goes at the top and the number 3 goes at the bottom. That's how you know which way it is the top. Uh, the other thing about these is that this is a really common part. You can get it pretty much anywhere. Uh, link to some of these in the description. They're real easy to get and they're quite cheap because they're not a Storrs and Bickle original type of thing that they make. So the first thing you got to do is you take a very specific screwdriver bit that looks like this and you got to take off the screws uh, to the sides of the volcano. Okay, so this pulls out, watch for the dial and as is uh, the case with mine there could be a ground cable but you can just set that off to the side so originally when you uh, take this thing and you separate it out the switch is still going to be in there and it's going to be connected by connectors that look like this there's going to be three of them I'll try and get one closer to you guys so you can see these are the connectors uh, there's going to be one at the top, one at the bottom, and one at the middle. Make sure you keep them in order so you know which ones they are. Uh, you're going to separate the switch from them using a flathead screwdriver. Uh, it's not that tough to pry it. I just did it in advance to keep this kind of moving along. The other thing about this rocker switch is that it's got these kind of black tabs on the sides. You're going to want to squeeze those as you kind of pull it out and that's how it's going to pull out. So all you got to do is you got to take this switch, make sure that the number one is at the top and then push it in and then put up or then connect the connectors and you're ultra good. Ta-da! Snapped right in, sort of. Okay, and now I just got to connect all those three connectors. And once again, they're a little bit tough to see, but they are all in there. This is probably the easiest type of repair that you could do on a unit like this. There's not a whole uh, long list of things, though, that break on these, generally speaking. So as long as you do this, uh, your volcano should be back at optimum running condition for a long time. Because as I said guys, even this problem took nine years to happen. And it happened right as I was prepping this volcano for an awesome episode. So, by the way, make sure you shove these connectors on there nice and deep. Don't be shy to push them on because it might be a little bit stiff. Then you just put the cover back on and you're all said and done. Uh, my volcano's been out of commission for like two weeks now, something like that. I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Medibubbler who sent me this nice bubbler uh, to kind of keep my spirits up. Uh, they did send me another one of these things, this Medibubbler. Um, I was going to do a giveaway with it, but now with all the troubles on YouTube, I'm not sure that I can. Uh, maybe I'll find another way to do a giveaway, maybe through the 420 Club or something. But uh, in the meantime, I did get about two weeks of use out of this thing, and I thought it was pretty good. Uh, it's got a little percolator, it's got uh, all sorts of parts that you can interchange, and it's got a carb on it. like. I don't know, pretty decent bubbler. And now I think, uh, let's test this thing out.
Okay, I just uh, put the cover back on and plugged it in. Let's see what happens. Ta-da! Working great. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, we'll catch you next time on Lexus World. See ya!